Hi guys, this video is just DIY sewing projects for friends. I'm going to get started. It's just gonna be like a simple, low key, no fuss sewing projects. And the first one that I have is gonna be a neck warmer. Um, I'm not really going by any patterns, but I will share with you the dimensions that I use. So first off, I found this really pretty minky type fabric at Joann's. And I cut it 23 inches by 14. I've already folded this part. So anyways, after I cut those, I surged the edges. And so now I'm just going to fold it and run it through my sewing machine here. I'm using my walking foot and I'm using clips because pins don't really work very well with this minky fabric. So this is gonna be really fast. So let's go ahead and get started. forget to add your handmade label. These are cord lock springs or paracord. I got them off Amazon. So I'm just going to slip this into my neck warmer and then you'll see why in a minute. It's so cool.
Now I'll show you the point of the cord. So if you have long hair like me, I'm going to put my hair in a ponytail. And not only is this going to be a neck warmer, but I'll show you. You can put it up like this. So if you love to be outdoors, like hiking or running, it's an ear warmer. And then I can pull this tight and have my ponytail up out of the way and keep my ears warm. So how cute is that? What do you think? Another thing that I love about this neck warmer is it kind of protects the collar of my coat from my makeup. And then you can kind of put it up over your nose to keep your nose warm. And it's super soft and just a quick make. I made this one for my daughter and she actually, she really loves it. She picked out the fabric and she just keeps it around her neck to keep the cold out. So let's move on to the next project. And if you are enjoying this video, please make sure that you give me a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button if you haven't already subscribed. Sorry, the screen went all black because um, the battery went dead. But this is how it turned out. But I was done anyways and I just flipped it right sides out. And so it's just a cute scrappy pouch. Um, you know, you can put your passport in it or it's just a really cute gift to give to friends. I always keep scraps of big fabric panels handy so I can make these to make like for hot pads and things like that. I didn't even install like the zipper tabs. I think that it turned out cute, just really simple like that. Okay, so should we do another project? I really love hot pads, they're my favorite. And there's a lot of ways that you can finish the binding. So this is one that I turned it over and I machine sewed the binding in the back to get it those really nice stitches very close to the edge. So you can do hard things. I did that little part with my embroidery machine. So now I do have another scrappy hot pad that I am just going to finish up the binding on it and I'm gonna use this exact technique. So we'll see if it turns out.
and under bright lights, snowflakes in my head, carols playing in the air. I dream of December nights, kissing under bright lights, red bow in my hair, sleigh bells in the air. The only thing I'm missing is you. The next one that I have is right here. It varies what I put in my hot pads, but for this one, I've got a canvas background, an old towel, and a layer of warm and natural. So it's going to provide enough protection against the heat. Oh, and for the binding, we're not using a binding. We're just going to sew the front and the back and flip it over and then sew it down. I really hate hand stitching, so I'm so glad that I left this big, huge opening so that I can turn it right sides out, and then you'll see what I have planned. And no, that was not part of the plan. <laughs> I really hope you enjoyed all of these sewing ideas. Remember not to stress. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure you like and subscribe. And I do hope to see you in my next video. So you can go ahead and click over here. And until next time, happy sewing. Bye guys.